As I talk about the mechanics of the stroke, it's interesting to see that there's two principles that change away from what you might think would be accepted procedure. When I make this flowing toe balance stroke, I do two things distinctly different. From the address position, you'll notice that the putter face will appear to open up in the backswing. As you look at it face on there, you see quite a lot of the putter face. Come square into impact, then after impact, you hardly see the face at all, it's closing. Now that appearance of opening to closing is really just staying square to the arc. And that's the second point that I want you to see here. As I set up to the ball, the arc of the stroke does move to the inside from the target line that I've illustrated with a club, comes back to the line here and then goes back on the inside. So it's an in to square to in action where the club face appears to open up. Now the power for this stroke is coming from the shoulders and upper arms. And some players who use this style even have a little bit of complementary wrist action. That's fine, but it mustn't get too excessive, otherwise uh, the old yips could come in. And that really isn't too good a news. So what we see there with the, the flowing motion is, it's not a hit, it's an acceleration through sweep. As I take the putter back, it will go back the same distance back as it goes through. I'm making a sweeping flowing motion. And by working on those principles, you can build good mechanics to this style of putting, and ones that you can trust when you go on the golf course.